They wait their turn, keen to learn the free-running techniques of the urban sport that has captured imaginations in other parts of the world. Here in Kirkuk, the rapid growth of parkour is providing an exhilarating outlet for young people in a city whose streets hold many dangers. Having resisted the advances of the Islamic State last year, Kirkuk has been hit with a series of bombings by the militants. But that has not stopped the spread of the street sport. Restricted by security services from leaping around their local park, Huna Shazad Amin and a friend have set up classes at a local youth center. It's not a sport about war or fighting. It's different in it that you play it for yourself, and there are no obstacles to stop you playing. Your body becomes fitter, and you can do this sport everywhere. The free classes have grown and now attract up to 60 youths, including youngsters from refugee families. Here, Young acrobats of all abilities mix, learning the sport in a safe environment before putting their skills to the test in the city's ancient citadel. Among recent converts to parkour is 14-year-old Mohamed Ahmed. Before I was doing exercises and some bodybuilding exercises. And then I came to this hall. I thought the sport was joyful, the teachers were good and the equipment was good. The manager of the government-run youth centre, which is protected by armed guards, says parkour is now more popular than sports like taekwondo. Dear Abdul Khalik Nazradin, adds that parkour provides benefits far beyond improved fitness. It keeps them from the bad things that are happening outside. For example, it prevents them from handling guns. And with parkour devotees overcoming the obstacles posed by a volatile security situation, many hope the sport can also catch on elsewhere in Iraq. I want this sport to develop and to have a specialized place for it. God willing, it will grow. Whether this happens remains to be seen. But in Kirkuk at least, as a message outside the center makes perfectly clear, parkour is here to stay. John Owens for VOA News, Kirkuk.